Right, welcome to this particular module and in the last module what we have seen? We have seen the band pass filters right. In this particular module we are looking at the band reject filters right. So, what are band reject filters and how it can be implemented? We will again see a passive band reject filter uh, and we will see an active band reject filter alright. We will see both the filters and we will see how it can be used. Uh, uh, we, we will see what we can we can show it to you. First, let us understand from the theoretical point of view that what exactly are the band eject filters and how it can be implemented. All right. So, if we go back to the screen, if we go back to the screen, what we see, right? The figure here shows the figure here shows the band which is green color, right? Green color. That green band, right? Or the frequency within this particular band will not be will not be allowed to pass and that is why this stop band is band stop. So, this filter is also called band stop filter or it is called reject this particular band we do not require reject that means, it is also called band reject filters alright got it. So, if you see this particular uh, figure what we see is there is a certain band of frequencies that we want to allow certain band of frequencies that we do not want to allow and this particular frequency we will not allow. So, how we can design this kind of filter right that is the question again you are looking at F L you are looking at F H right and you are looking at the frequency versus your voltage or amplitude right y axis is your amplitude x axis is your frequency right y is your amplitude x is your frequency ok. So, the figure below shows the ideal frequency response of a band stop filter this is ideal this is ideal right you can see it is sharp we would do not require this particular uh, the frequency between F L and F H sharp change sharp drop like a brick wall like a brick wall sharp change this is ideal in reality in reality when you see you will see something like this right. So, it is not sharp it is you see it is it is decreasing and that it is this particular. So, this is the band that we are trying to block hmm. actual ideally hmm, ideally. So, the band stop filter is formed by combination of low pass and high pass filter. Now, in the band pass filter we had high pass band pass band pass filters we had high pass filter connected to low pass filter correct you remember in band reject filter band reject filter first stage is low pass filter it is connected to high pass filter that is a difference. So, easy to remember extremely easy to remember what is that that if you take band pass filter high pass filter is cascaded with low pass filter high pass filter is their input low pass filter is at the output and you connect both of them if you talk about band reject filter the low pass filter is at the input and high pass filter is at the output right that is why when we say the band stop filter is formed by combination of combination of low pass and high pass uh, filters with a parallel connection with a parallel connection instead of cascading. So, so do not only do not do not worry about this just converting this thing just converting this thing there is one more thing that you have to understand is the parallel connection parallel that was series this is parallel all right. So, we will see we will see just by converting high pass to low pass and low pass to high pass is not enough for band reject you also have to understand a parallel connection we will see how the parallel connection can be done right. The name itself that it will stop a particular band of frequencies the name itself indicates that it will be used to stop a particular band of frequencies right. Now, since it eliminates, eliminates frequencies since it eliminates a frequencies unwanted frequencies it is also called it is also called band elimination filter 
is also called band elimination filter or band reject filter, band reject filter or notch filter. Uh, this filter is super famous, right? It has so many names. It has so many names. It is called band reject. It is called band elimination. It is called notch filter, right? So uh, this filter in which we can reject the band, right? It is called band elimination or notch or band reject. Now, what we know here, what we know here, we know third point, we know that unlike high pass and low pass filter, band pass and band stop filters have two cutoff frequencies, have two cutoff frequency, right? How if it is low pass, high pass, band pass, band reject, hmm? let us see low pass, high pass, band pass, band reject alright. If I draw low pass, low pass has one frequency, high pass, high pass also has F c correct. Band pass this one band pass, hmm? band pass has two frequencies F L, F H. Band reject, band reject is two frequencies F L, F H right. That is what we, we are saying that we know that unlike high pass and low pass, band pass and band stop filters have two frequencies that is your F L and F H. It will pass above and pass pass above and below a particular range of frequencies whose cutoff frequencies are predetermined depending on the value of the components used in the circuit. It will pass above and pass below, right? Pass above. Uh, this one is pass above. This is pass below. A certain band of frequencies which we can decide, which we can decide by using a correct components in the circuit. We will see with an example. So, you get a better idea of what we are discussing alright. We will see an example. So, now in this case any frequencies in between these values right, any frequencies in between these two cutoff frequencies are attenuated. Frequencies that we want to pass will easily pass. The frequencies between F L and F H, between N F L and F H, this range will be attenuated, will be attenuated, all right. So, it has two pass bands, correct? It has two pass band, pass band 1, pass band 2, and one stop band, stop band 1, 1 S, 1 P, 2 P, right? Two pass band and one stop band. The ideal characteristics of bandpass filter are shown here, are shown here, right. So, this is your band reject filter, right. I think it is not bandpass filter, this is ideal characteristics of the band reject filter, all right. Band reject filter is shown here, got it, ok. Now, let us see further about band reject filter. In band reject filter again do not consider this pass this is my mistake uh, is a band reject filter right uh, or, or let us see this band pass filter first uh, maybe let us read first before I tell. In band pass filter action we have seen now this is correct sentence in band pass filter action we have seen that a basic RC low pass filter can be combined with a RC high pass filter to form a simple filter that will pass a band of frequency either side of two cut off frequencies. We have seen that right. What we have seen that there is a low pass filter, there is a high pass filter both are connected uh, in, uh, in a we are both are cascaded and uh, we could pass the frequencies either side of the cut off frequencies. We can also combine what we have seen further that we can also combine these RC filters to form another type of filters that can block or severely attenuate a given band of frequencies right between two cutoff frequencies. This is band reject or band stop filter. Hmm. We can also combine these RC filters which RC filters low pass and high pass to form another type of filter that can block or attenuate band of frequencies. 
So, in this case we are passing certain band of frequencies, in this case we are attenuating some band of frequencies. Right. So, same RC filters can be used in some different uh, configuration to get us a band stop filter or to attenuate the frequency that we do not desire. All right. Next, if a stop band is very narrow or highly attenuated over a small range of frequencies, if a stop band is extremely narrow or highly attenuated over a small range of frequencies while passing all other frequencies, it is more commonly referred as band notch filter. So, when you see a graph which is something like this, then this is the frequency that it is attenuating, only this frequency it is attenuating all right and that is why it looks like a notch, it looks like a notch. That is why what is, what is said here is that if a stop band is very narrow and highly attenuated, you see the stop band is extremely narrow, this stop band is narrow right and highly attenuated. In this particular case, this, this band reject filter is also called band notch filter, also called band notch filter, very easy to understand, extremely easy right. This is because the frequency response, so a deep notch with a high selectivity, we have already seen the graph. A typical band reject filter, a typical band reject filter frequency response is shown in figure 17. So, let us see what is that gain is V out by V in. You always see here we have we are considering minus 3 dB, right? Minus 3 dB. This is your pass band, this is your pass band, and this is your stop band. This is your stop band correct. So, now we have a phase if I pl plot a phase plot then I will see here if you if you want to have a phase plot for frequent for this band notch filter or band reject filter or band uh, stop filter then we have phase plot which is shown here in here right. Phase shift would be like this start from F c and you will see a phase shift which goes like this all right easy very easy ok. So, let us go to the next one. Right. So, now here what we see you, you keep focus all right keep your focus and see what, what we are looking at here. The transformation of this filter the transformation of this filter characteristics can be easily implemented using a single low pass and high pass filter circuits isolated from each other by non inverting voltage amplifier or non inverting voltage follower. Uh, the output from this two filter circuit is then summed using a third operational amplifier connected as voltage summer. Now, you guys understand why I am teaching you one by one. Now, you already know when I talk about voltage follower. Now, you already know when I talk about the voltage summer right this is voltage summer. So, voltage summer summing amplifier right low pass filter high pass filter high pass filter low pass filter right. So, what is the point you again like, let us look at this point the transformation of the filter characteristics can be easily implemented using a single low pass and high pass filter circuit single low pass and high pass filters followed by followed by right this is you see low pass filter is here high pass filter is here followed by what is this unity gain amplifier unity gain amplifier this is your buffer right buffer voltage follower unity gain amplifier. So, your low pass filter cascaded with unity gain amplifier high pass filter cascaded with unity gain amplifier right that is how you form your that is how you start your band reject filter and then the, uh, the signal is provided the signal V in is provided to low pass filter, it is provided to high pass filter followed by voltage follower and the output is fed output here here see this output is fed output is fed to the summing amplifier right. We already know the formula of summing amplifier. So, this will be V in this will be V 2 right. So, we have the uh, R here right. So, we know that it is minus 1 by R f into V 1 V 2 V 3 whatever 
uh, voltages right or you can convert your so if you go back and look at the summing amplifier you can see the uh, output voltage formula correct so when you see this when you see this what you will get you will get is the difference between uh, you will get the band which are not allowed to be passed so we will see further here right in 18 the use of operation amplifiers within the band stop filter design also allows us to introduce voltage gain into basic filter circuit right because now we have voltage gain we can introduce the basic filter circuit the two in non inverting voltage followers can be easily converted into basic non inverting voltage uh, with a gain of av equals to 1 plus rf by rn right instead of here i can uh, convert it to a non inverting amplifier very easy right i can connect the second uh, voltage follower also to a non inverting amplifier if i connect it to uh, uh, if i convert this unity gain amplifier to a non inverting amplifier then i can change the gain of the filter that's what is written that a two non inverting voltage followers can be easily be converted into basic non inverting amplifier with a gain of 1 plus rf by r in by the action of input and feedback resistors thus if require thus if require band stop filter to have its minus 3 b cut off points say at 1 kilowatts and 10 kilowatts and stop band gain at minus 10 db we can easily design a low pass filter and a high pass filter with this requirements simply by cascading them together to form wide band pass filter design right it's very easy very easy to understand. So, here if you really see the first one that is this particular plot what we see is here the bend stop response the bend stop response is between F L and your F H right it will not allow this particular band of frequency to pass it will not allow this particular frequency to pass right. So, uh, this is minus 3 dB again minus 3 dB right you see band response this is your v out by v in or your gain your gain or v out by v in this is your pass band this is your pass band is a high pass response low pass response this is reject so band stop response so now we have now we know how we can design a band reject filter right easy so if i go on the next slide then you have an example to solve you have an example to solve I give you an example. So, that uh, when we go to the experimental point of view you will not get confused and you already know that what we are working on what we are dealing with right that is why I also tell you the examples. Now, band reject filter we have an example. So, example is design a wide band design a basic wide band RC band stop filter with a lower cutoff frequency of 200 hertz and a higher cutoff frequency of 800 hertz what is saying you have to design rc band stop filter with a lower frequency so rc band stop filter with a lower cutoff frequency so this one would be fl right and this one would be fh okay now find the geometric center frequency minus 3 db bandwidth and q of the circuit three things we have to find so, how can we find this? How can we find this? So, if we find the solution, the upper and cut, uh, lower cutoff frequency points for a band stop filter can be found using the same formula as that for both low pass and high pass filter. That means, the frequency can be found using the formula f equals to 1 divided by 2 pi r c right. Now, assuming a capacitor c value for both filter equals to c here capacitor value is not given. So, we are assuming 0 0.1 microfarad. The values of two frequency determines resistor R L and R H can be calculated as follows. First, we will look at the low pass filter section. Low pass filter section F equals to 1 upon 2 pi R C right. Then we can for put the formula of uh, uh, we have 200 hertz right. We have 200 hertz here correct. So, V and C equals to this one. So, if I substitute the value 2 pi R L is I do not know. So, I am putting R L equals to see if I have this formula F L F L equals to 1 by 2 pi R L C then I will R L would be R L equals to right R L equals to 1 upon 2 pi F L C. I know what is F L I know what is C I know what is 2 pi. So, 2 pi into 200 into 0 0.1 10 to minus 6 because it is microfarad correct. 200 because 200 is hertz given here 
So, if I if I solve this thing well I have I have a load resistor of 8 kilo ohms I can find the value of R L. So, now I have value of R L I have found it. Now, what is the next step I have to find R H I have to find R H. So, for finding R H we are again selecting the formula which is same formula where your F equals to 1 by 2 pi R C 1 by 2 pi R C all right. So, here here if I want to measure r, r equals to 1 upon 2 pi f c. What is f here? f h. So, f h right I r is r h. So, here if I substitute 1 upon 2 pi f h what was f h? If I go back I will see f h is f h is 800 hertz f h is 800 hertz. So, I substitute value of f h which is 800 I substitute value of c which is 0 0.1 microfarad and I, I multiply these things right then I have I have R H equals to 2 kilo ohms R H equals to 2 kilo ohms. Now, what I found I have R H values I have R L values right I had to find F C. So, geometric center frequency we know the formula F C is nothing but square root of F L into F H right what is F L? F L is 200 given f h is 800 given center frequency is 400 got it done easy. What will be the bandwidth? Bandwidth bandwidth is very easy f h minus f l 800 minus 200 600 hertz is my bandwidth right. Quality factor quality factor is given by f by bandwidth. So, what is my f c f c by bandwidth f c is 400 hertz bandwidth is 60 hertz I divide it then I get value of 0.67 or minus 3.5 dB minus 3.5 dB right. So, the point is that if I want to design this band reject filter I should know two things one is a formula for F second is formula for Q and F C F C is F C and Q. So, F c is super easy f l into f h square root of f l into f h uh, and q is f c divided by the bandwidth. So, from that I can get values right I can get values. So, if you quickly see back we can find the value of f l and from that we have f l is given. So, we can find r l then we have then we have f h from f h we can find this r h right. Now, we have quality factor quality factor we can find F c by W bandwidth we know, but what is F c? F c is square root of F l into F h what is bandwidth? Bandwidth is F h into my F h minus F l. So, total is we have the values 600 400 when we substitute we get the value of quality factor q equals to minus 3.5 dB right. So, guys this is how you can solve a band reject filter right uh, problem which is given for the band reject filter. Now, let us continue uh, ok. So, uh, we, we will we will we will stop here right now and let us let us see in the in the following module right how we can design a band reject filter. So, we will uh, right now I have uh, covered the theoretical portion once again uh, a small theoretical portion not really in depth, but what we understood is we can design this band reject filter right uh, using an operational amplifier that is your summing amplifier we can have the buffer or we can change the buffer in instead of buffer we can use the inverting amplifier or non inverting amplifier and we have low pass filter and by uh, and the high pass filter connected in the fashion that we have seen in the circuit when we apply the input if the final output at the output of summing amplifier will be the notch amplification notch voltage right the vo the frequency the frequency that is rejected is the output of the uh, output of the band reject filter. So, now we can change this bandwidth by under by calculating your f l and f h right. It is very easy f h minus f l if you want to uh, find q again very easy right f by f c by bandwidth. If I want to measure f c very easy under root of f l into f h right. So, and if you want to measure r l or r h we can find the formula of frequency frequency is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi r c in case of r l 1 upon f l equals to 1 upon 2 pi r l 
uh, into C. So, R L equals to 1 upon 2 pi F C F L into C the we can find R L R H we can see by same same formula and we can find R H. So, this if you know these things it is very easy for you to calculate how you can uh, design your bend reject filter. Now, in the next module let us see how we can implement this on the breadboard and let us see the change in the output voltage when we apply different signal at the input voltage alright. Till then you take care read these things learn understand and look at the videos learn this video read this video when I say read this video what does that mean that if I ask you any question if you are confused you have to go back and read somewhere alright and you have to watch this video you have to read you have to watch and you have to understand all three things you have to do simultaneously of course you have to listen right. So, multiple things you can do uh, multiple things you can do uh, uh, by by understanding this NPTEL videos right all the your curiosity you can you can solve by testing it on the circuit that is why I am trying to put the circuit in picture so that it is helpful for you alright. So, with that I will see you in the next class till then you take care.